The Department of Defense sponsored American Institute for Manufacturing Integrated Photonics, or AIM Photonics, led by SUNY Polytechnic Institute, taking part in the Defense Manufacturing Conference in Nashville, Tennessee. The engagement, attended by the nation's manufacturing institutes and many of AIM Photonics' more than 100 members. Small businesses are agile, innovative, flexible to meet our needs. The problem is that they would come to us at the end of our funding and say, I don't know how to make this. Where do I go to, for the prototyping, the scale up, the integration? That's where the Mantec program comes in. That's where these institutes come in. They offer the opportunity up to those small businesses. 99% of our manufacturers are small, medium-sized companies. They need this help. And so bringing these communities together through the institutes is a way to push that innovation technology forward and actually get it manufactured. AIM Photonics leaders and representatives sharing exciting progress enabling advances in photonics research, development and commercialization. So we have engineering staff that does silicon photonic design, integrated photonic design and packaging. We have staff that does uh, signal processing, RF design for high speed applications and data in both RF applications uh, in general. Um, so we take all of that, we work with AIM Photonics um, out of Rochester, New York. They're our neighbors and we take all those technologies and we push them into products to be able to try to get them out into, into people's hands, particularly in the DOD or defense applications. AIM Photonics member Veluxus by Precision Optical Transceivers, a fabulous semiconductor company using next-gen integrated photonics technologies to improve advanced communications and signal processing for high-stress DOD-based applications. Veluxus by Precision OT leaders joining others at the DMC conference and exhibition who were able to learn about exciting collaborative opportunities with AIM Photonics. Being in our the location that we're at and the, the new TAP facility going up in Rochester just down the street from, I mean literally down the street from our office. So that's going to be a huge benefit. Among the highlights at DMC, AIM provided information about its latest process design kit or PDK. Developed by Analog Photonics and SUNY Poly, it provides SMEs a powerful resource for the development of the baseline technology and design of the products to be manufactured. Attendees also learned about AIM's multi-project wafer capabilities, utilizing SUNY Poly's world-class fab, home to advanced integrated photonics wafer processing tools that enable a much lower cost of entry and quick turnaround with MPW runs scheduled each quarter. Combined with AIM's new test assembly and packaging facility in Rochester, New York, the initiative continues to provide unprecedented access to the latest integrated photonics capabilities. In our uh, display, we have a focal plane array that is one of the DOD-sponsored projects. And this array, once it's developed in a prototype and then it goes into uh, production, that's going to have a major impact on the warfighters. You're talking about tons of weight savings on the warfighters and the drone. So just that there is a significant accomplishment. We've achieved a lot in just three years.